In this video, we're going to discuss classical variable sampling. Classical variable sampling is similar to monetary unit sampling in that we're trying to estimate the amount or the value of some characteristic in the population, maybe the value of accounts receivable. But classical variable sampling is different than monetary unit sampling because with classical variable sampling, we're using probability and the normal distribution. We're going to have to estimate what would be the standard deviation and so forth. So we're basically using statistics. So it's, it's more difficult to use classical variable sampling, so it's not as common as monetary units, uh, unit sampling in, in actual audit practice. And there are a couple other uh, pros and cons as well. So when you have a situation where you have, you're expecting very small misstatements, like if there are going to be any misstatements in the sample that they're, they're going to be very small or maybe none at all, then classical variable sampling is not as useful as monetary unit sampling, okay? Now, we want to use classical variable sampling when we're looking for understatements, okay? Maybe understated liabilities, or if we have a lot of different balances with a value of zero, which could indicate maybe there's some unrecorded liabilities, that's when classical variable sampling is going to be most helpful. Uh, with monetary unit, uh, sampling, we're thinking more about overstatements and so forth, like inventory and, and accounts receivable. Now, with classical variable sampling, there's three different estimators that you can use. We've got difference estimation, ratio estimation, and mean per unit estimation. And I'm going to make a video showing you how to do the calculations for each one of these. 